Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a duplicate file remover. If you are looking to remove duplicate songs, videos, pictures, Outlook messages, and more, it is actually quite simple with Duplicate Finder software. The process takes only several minutes of your time and can help speed up your computer and free up hard drive space. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. First, we're going to click the link in the description box below in order to visit the website www.delete-duplicate-files.net. On this website, you can get a free scan of your computer with Duplicate Finder software. Simply download and install the program. Here is the software. You are going to select what folder you want to search for duplicate files. If you want to search your entire computer, simply select your hard drive and then click the Add button at the top. Below that, you will select what file extensions you want to include or exclude in the search. Selecting files to include or exclude will cut down on the overall scan time. The software will now scan your computer. This process may take a long time depending on how many files you have. For the sake of this video, I will skip ahead. Here are the results. In this panel, you can see how many duplicate files were found and how much disk space is being used up. On the left, you can narrow down the files based on what type they are, review which files you want to remove, or use the assistant option to help you decide what to do with the duplicates. Before you can remove the files, you will have to purchase and register the software. This process takes only a couple of minutes. Once you have registered and selected the duplicate files, click Selection Processing and Delete Selected. So that's all there is to it. If you want to speed up your computer and free up hard drive space, try using the best duplicate file remover available. By clicking the link in the description box below, you can visit the website www.delete-duplicate-files.net and download and install the software to try it out. Good luck.